Morning. So yesterday was a very interesting session for the crypto space. We did not reach new highs. We did not test massive support or resistance level or even move dramatically one way or the other. We did have a scare and a bounce up at an interesting level. While traditional markets turned somewhat risk off, so the S&P is down 1%, Nasdaq down 2%, gold down 1.7%, one could have assumed some contagion to affect cryptocurrencies. Um, with the session before last taking Bitcoin down 4.5% and then this session just now with an intraday move of minus 5%, it definitely fell that way. At the close though, the candle is green and with a long bottom wick, which is typically a bullish signal, right? It means buyers went a long way to retrace and revert the selling pressure. The question now is, are we out of the woods yet? Because it's worth noting, we're, we've still stepped out of an upward channel and we've closed below the 20 day moving average. So the rest of the week is going to be critical and fascinating to see whether we keep going up or retrace further down. The, the crypto space has had a lot of good news to support price action, by the way, like this price action just now. Fidelity Digital is reported to accept Bitcoin collateral for cash loans. JP Morgan says that gold will suffer for years because of Bitcoin. What an interesting change of tune. MicroStrategy has issued further statements about a $550 million offering of convertible notes that would then be poured into Bitcoin. And then IG, ING Bank discussed a crypto custody project at a Singapore fintech event. So it's very hard to be a seller in these kinds of conditions when corporates and banks keep piling in. Away from Bitcoin and towards alts, um, it's the usual dynamic, right? With the same picture, but just varying intensity depending on the coin. Everything is mostly green um, and either underperforming or outperforming Bitcoin. So Ethereum is closing 3.5% up after an intraday of 8% from top to bottom. Chainlink is up 4%. Cardano is up 5.5%. Stellar is up 13%. And on the session, overall, the Bitcoin dominance is actually down half a percent. So that's it for me today. It's more about the kind of setup we're in and the recent move and how it's going to be playing out in the coming session. So if you haven't done so, please like, but most definitely subscribe uh, so you can be updated. I do this every weekday and so we can see how um, the price action moves in the coming days. In any case, it's going to be interesting. I wish you a great day and a great trading day.